This is a project I've been thinking about doing for a while now. A little tutorial on disabling the BEC in an electronic speed control. The BEC is designed to supply power to your receiver. It feeds it through the positive wire on the servo connector. However, there are times whenever you will not want that BEC to function. Uh, one example would be if you had twin speed controls and twin motors in a boat or an airplane or whatever it may be. You can use one to supply the power to the receiver but you can't use them both at the same time because they will back feed into each other and it will actually burn up the ESC. Another example would be if you were using a battery pack to supply power to your receiver to help take some of the load off of the ESC which helps make them run cooler. There's many reasons for doing it. Uh, most high voltage speed controls do not come with the BEC installed even because of the nature of the beast. Reasons for not running a BEC, are, there's many really. I mean, uh, so you've got a multi-engine plane, a quadcopter, all of them you can't run, you cannot use more than one BEC at a time to feed the radio, otherwise it creates problems. And mo many people, when they decide to, to eliminate the BEC, will just take the lead and cut the little red wire at the plug which is not really a good thing to do. You might decide someday you might want to use it again. This is a real simple method for eliminating it and we'll go into that now. Okay, this is a method that works really well and it's not that complicated to do. So you want to eliminate the plug on the VEC lead. You roll the end over so that you can see the little tangs and the connectors. Slightly separate your wires a little bit. And you can take your hobby knife with a sharp blade. Should have got my glasses so I could see. Okay, thank goodness for editing software. Now, as I was saying, I tell you, it's hard to take and do something like this and try to keep it on the camera at the same time. <laughs> Slide your hobby knife under and slide the wire connector out. VEC is now disabled. To finish off the job, you use a piece of small diameter heat shrink that you'd slide over the wire, cut it to length, and then shrink it into place. Or you could just take and fold the wire over with a larger piece of heat shrink and cover it there. But uh, actually, since I'm not really planning on disabling this BEC, the nice thing about this little setup is that you can put the pin back in and the BEC functions again. Lock right back in place. Now, in the event that you have a data logging speed control, you really don't want to pull the pin there. Instead you can use a short extension to hook to your radio and do the same trick on it. Oops, I forgot to separate the wires. And actually if you're using the cheap extension and you don't really care you could actually clip the wire on it. But you know, you might want to use it again someday too. Again, the extension can be disarmed just the same as the ESC. You can use the other end of the extension then to plug your speed control into. And then whenever you want to check the data on it and download the log or whatever, or program it or whatever, you can just unplug it from the extension. And you're good to hook up to whatever you need to hook it up to. Yeah, that was easy enough, and it is a lot better than destroying a 
high dollar speed control. Well, you don't really destroy it, but you sure enough hurt the resale value of it if you wanted to get rid of it by clipping the little red wire like so many people do. Don't cut the wire. And that concludes this little demonstration.